Hello guys, this is Dapson HTML. Do you know that you could actually use an embedded object with layout grid? And if yes, how to go about it? Did you know about that? Well, let's take a look at how to use an embedded object with layout grid in Visual Code Builder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different pages. I already have a page here. Let me just go ahead and then duplicate this page or let me just create a page here. And then let me just rename this to embedded page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a navigation on this particular embedded page. Now, why would you or when would you use and need an embedded page in your project? There was a project I was working on which required for me to have the navigation on each page. Now, I already had a navigation on the master page and then I needed to have a sidebar navigation to the left hand side of my project. I could have just done this going about um, creating navigation and then duplicating it on every page but I realized it wasn't going to be helpful because if I'm supposed to make a change to a part of the navigation I'll have to go to every part of the page um, the pages that I've created to implement that change so there is another way you could go about that by simply using the embedded page or the embedded object what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a navigation in here so I use the CSS navigation I'll draw in here and then I'm going to change this to let me just change this to um, this is going to be vertical instead of horizontal and let me just go ahead and then click on OK let me go ahead and then um, decrease the size of this let me come back to my two box and this time around I'm going to bring the layout grid too so I'll click on my uh, let me just select my layout layout grid too and then I'm going to draw in here. What I'm going to do next is to configure this. First of all, I'm going to get rid of this particular um, um, cell or column here. Let me just remove this and then go ahead and then click on OK. And then I'm going to move my navigation object into the layout grid I have in here. So assuming this is my um, navigation I'm going to have on, let's say, a lot of pages without me wanting to create, uh, recreate it or duplicating it on each and every page I could just go ahead and then use this method to do that and one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size of my page since I wouldn't want the layout grid to span to fill the entire width of my page so I'm going to change the page width to let's say about 300 this is going to be based on what I'll be working on to probably what you may be working on may be different from mine so you should have a way or a different way of going about implementing that and then let me just go ahead and then take away my gutter in here so I'm just going to reduce this to about three and then I'm going to go ahead to click on OK now I'm going to come to the index page so this is I'm assuming that I would need a master um, this an embedded object on this particular page but I would need it within my layout grid so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open my toolbox click on the layout grid tool and then I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to divide this into three columns so I'm going to add one more column to it and then I'm going to change the width of this to four and then I'm going to change this also to four making it equal sizes and then I'm going to go ahead and I hit on OK what I'm going to do next is to bring the embedded object so I'll come to my toolbox and then I'm going to search for the embedded object let me just go ahead and then click on it and then draw in here so this is going to require me to select the page that I have my embedded or I have the object that I want to embed on this particular page so I'm going to go ahead to select this page and then I'm going to click on OK so as you can see I have this which is appearing more like a layer or an object which has been stuck together or grouped together so what I'm going to do is all I have to do is just simply move this into the cell that I want to have this and as you can see this stays just right in here so as you can see the embedded object doesn't work with only layers it could also be used with layout grid and I can um, have this I can have a lot of these pages so let me just go ahead and then duplicate my page and like I was saying, so I have a lot of this page where each and every page is having different information. So if I want to change an application item or any item at all, all I have to do is to simply come to the page and then I make a change to it. Let me just add one more thing, click on OK, click on OK. And then when I come to any of the page, you realize, let me just expand, click on this. Um, let me come back here and make sure that was affected. So this should be affected. Let me just come here and I should be able to see my 
yeah so i expanded this and as you can see i have my change in there so that's a way you could go about using an embedded object in layout creating with zuka builder thank you very much for watching bye for now